What up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them, and them are you, which are the chosen ones, baby. And I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, chosen ones, the adversity wasn't meant to destroy you. The adversity, the pain from it, it wasn't meant to be there permanently. The adversity was only there for you to show the world what real looked like. See, you had nothing but fake people around you. You had nothing but liars and betrayers around you. These folks never seen real. They, not, they don't understand real. They don't understand having principles and morals. So the adversity was there for you to display your skills, to display your talents, to display what God has placed in you. And maybe, just maybe, these people, these individuals will be able to learn something from a real one, from a chosen one, one chosen by the most high. See, you went through what you went through so that you can show these people what real does, how real get down. See, these people never seen it, and let me tell you why. They never been around a real individual. That's why they did what they did to you because they thought you was just as fake as they were and they wanted to get you before you got them. Or they wanted to test the waters and get you to see if you was gonna respond to their fakeness the same way, but you didn't. You didn't fall for the trap. And I'm proud of you. You didn't fall into the trap. God proud of you. The Most High is proud of you. See, they thought you was going to respond in a way that'll put you in a position of compromising who you always stated yourself to be, who you always professed to be, which is a chosen one, which is a real one. See, they tried to put you to the test and you passed. And what they didn't realize, you are the one giving the class, not them. They're the student. You're the professor, you're the teacher. And you didn't respond with the same energy they gave you. And you kept it G. You kept it godly, you kept it G. You kept everything on the up and up. So don't be disappointed at yourself for the things you went through for trusting people, for having faith in people, because you knew you would never do anything like that. You knew that when it came to it, you would have stood your ground and you would have kept it 100 with these individuals. But they couldn't do it because they ain't never seen real. So God placed you in their life to show them how real move. It was never about whether or not they'll be able to break you, whether or not they'll be able to get over on you because it is already written. That wasn't going to happen from the jump. You walked in a situation winning off the back. The battle was already won. So God already knew they weren't going to do that. But you were sent in their life to be a teacher, to school a class, to raise these kids up. So don't beat on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself and don't close your heart. Because being who you are got you to the place you're currently now at. Healed, whole. You learned some things. You're stronger now. You're wiser now. What the devil meant for your good, God turned it around. I mean, what the devil meant for your bad, God turned it around for your good. Give yourself grace because God has blessed you with style and grace. That's why he allowed you to mosey on into these situations and walk out of them spotless, unscathed. You got off scot-free. Still doing your thing, still shining. 
why these people are reaping the rewards of what fake people get. They are now reaping their rewards of the karma, of the things that they have put out into the world. And you just got off scot-free. You got off scot-free. You won. The battle was already won. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So don't beat yourself up. Don't regret none of the experiences you had to experience during that time frame because all that was put there to make you stronger. And for you, yes, you, to teach these children the ways of the righteous, the ways of a chosen one. Because you moved in integrity. And that's just something they don't have in them. God's still trying to raise these folks up. They still babies. They still children. But you're going to be rewarded for your faithfulness because God was able to use you. He was able to work through you and show these people your God manifested in this physical. That's how God works in the physical, through his people. You're God in flesh. flesh. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. God proud of you. But the adversity was only there to make you stronger, make you better. No matter what people said about you, did to you or thought they did you stayed in integrity you stayed in truthfulness and light that's why you finna go to the places you about to go to that's why you about to do the things you about to do real is a commodity it's not money. It's not material things. It's not relationships. It's realness, authentic individuals. That's what the world is missing. That's what the world lacks. Because if you seek ye first the kingdom of God, all those things will be added on you. Y'all know I love that. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. So you ain't got to go try to figure things out. You ain't got to go try to chase material gains and all this other old stuff. Seek God's kingdom first and those things will be added unto you. Y'all know what it is. G. Wells with them. If it ain't a capital G, y'all know it ain't me. Big General. Let's go.